What's up guys, Luke again and welcome to the fourth episode of 500k in a day and I'm actually so tired right now but if you want any cheaper available ultimate team coins make sure you go to gofeavecoins.com link to them will be in the description down below and as you can see from the training that we're picking up we are picking up some pretty nice silver deals converted and silver with hunter method it's currently 20 to 2 in the morning I'm absolutely knackered I've been trading all day today. I'm recording. I recorded all the training on the Friday. Um, I set myself a goal of around 12 hours to do it in, and I did it with half an hour to spare. So, yeah. But I'm hoping that I can get all these videos edited and rendered and uploaded for you guys. Because, like I said, there is going to be a video every single hour. And as you can see, all the silver plays did sell, apart from the two Walcotts that are still selling. If you could drop a like on this video, if you do enjoy it, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm actually realised I'm shouting and there's people next door sleeping and stuff. But anyway, as you can see, we go and buy this Jeffrey for 6k. He's the only one on the market, the Sporting Lisbon version. So we can actually make some nice profit because he's actually not there anymore. He's playing in the BBVA. Um, not too sure what team he's playing for, but he's playing in the BBVA for one of the mid-table teams. I'm not too sure actually what team it is, but... Gonna list him up for around 9k, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna sum up for around 9k, and hopefully, after tax, that is a very, very nice profit. And then the next play that we have is going to be when we go into our trade pile, and you can see that the Walcott and Jeffrey are still selling. We're gonna pick up three players. We can pick up this Gudetti in Cam for 3k, and he's the only one at Cam. He's been converted, and he's got Hunter, so we list him up for 5.8. We get this Townsend for 6.5, and we list him up for 8.3. And he sells within like a couple of minutes because. Um, I listed him up a lot cheaper than what he actually should be. He goes for like 15k, but we can also get that long Shane Long at Cam as well. And then, as you can see, we go back into the trade pile and we see that we have all the players have sold um, all six of them. I think it was. I want to show all six of them. But anyway, the next players that we have are going to be when the trade pile loads up. We have a John George, two John George Shelvies, a Maega and a Luko. And they've all been converted and they've all got Hunter on. So we're making some nice profit off every single one. And most of these cards were selling within the first half an hour to an hour. I don't, I think I only have to list it up. Oh, I think I only have to list up a couple of pay, players for two hours or more than an hour anyway. So, but Listen that Maega up and we get this Aluko for 3.8k and we're going to list him up for 5.9 start and 6k by now. And if he sells that will be a nice bit of profit. We're going to get this Wellington Nem for 5.3 and as you can see the one's 8.1 and one's 8.5. So if we list our, ours up for 8k that will make it the cheapest on the market and we'll get some nice profit off that. And yeah Wellington Nem's actually pretty good to trade with. I think I pick him up a couple more times I'm not too sure. Um, but we will move on to the informs in the next few trades because informs just that's where the profits at really and the market is slowly going up so all the prices the players are rising we're going to get this centre mid from Galatasaray with Hunter on him for 4.9k he was the only one on the market so we're going to take advantage and list him up for 7.5 and if he sells that will be a nice profit next player we have we're going on a bit of a spending spree in the Russian league with the Hunter Chem style and um, we pick up this right forward here for 5.9k Next cheapest was 6.9, and then we go and pick up the two of these areas, one for 2.9, and how much do we get the other one for? We get another one for, well, there we go, I think we get two for 2.9, and then the cheapest after that was I think 4.9, so if this starts up for 4.8, that will be a nice bit of profit. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you haven't enjoyed it, make sure you drop it a like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.